Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit, live here from PAX 2012 in Seattle. And it is my pleasure to bring you the first game of a very long show for us. It goes by the name of Antichamber, and I'm here with its designer, who is looking very dashing in his fantastically colored suit. It goes by the name of Alexander Bruce. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. All right, so what is this game all about? Oh, right now you're right at the start, and I'm not going to say anything because this is a game where first impressions matter. All right, well, that's great considering our, we pretty much do first impressions. So we've got controls over here, right? And also what appears to be kind of an interactive options menu. Very cool. All right, so controls, W, S, and D, shift to walk, space to jump, interact with the chamber, and look around. Well, that seems simple enough. Every journey is a series of choices. The first is to begin the journey. Yes, I, I choose to begin the journey by clicking on this. There we go. All right, well, it's a jumping puzzle. So I might as well quit the game right now. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm terrible at these. All right, let's give it a shot. Well, that did not go well for me, unfortunately. But it turns out this that is not a failure state, it seems. It, you know, I, would you even tell me if that was actually possible? You wouldn't do it, would you? I know how you are. Yes. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll come back there later. Mm, this, so this game is about messing with your mind, so you've very much described it. So what we're doing right now is we're untraining expectations that have been built up over 20 years of playing games. You know, straight away, you tried a jumping puzzle. It didn't work the same way as it would in another game. It's not a tutorial. But we did learn that we can't die. Okay. And that wasn't a failure state. We just found somewhere else to go. All right, well, let's head on through this. Uh, very interesting graphic style that you've got going on here. Why did you choose this? It, I suppose you could say it's, it's a very simplistic color layout. Mm -hmm. So the further that we progress through this game, we'll, uh, we're going to encounter a whole lot of situations that start messing around with our psychology. And if we've mm. got uh, too much textures and high-res graphics and etc. around the place, then we're going to be missing out on all of these key details that help us pick up exactly what's going on. Why, oh, why didn't I take the blue pill? Oh, it could go that way. Y you know, th this has already gotten me into this psychological state where I'm like, what does he have planned if I go up? You know, this seems a nice and friendly blue upwards. That's good, right? Yep. So you know what? I'm going to take the red path instead. Excellent. But it could just be a double bluff. You really wanted me to take the blue path. Let's continue the same route. We're going to take the red path once again. Why do I have this funny feeling that I'm going to be going down the same stairway over and over again? There's a sign on the wall that you're running past that may give you some information. Let's find out. Okay. Well, that's suitably cryptic. <laughs> Let's go right, then. Take a right turn, another right... Oh, Lord. This is true. It doesn't. That's a fair point. So, this is already messing with me, honestly. <laughs> I suppose uh, I've got to ask you as a developer, what kind of possesses you to make a game which is certainly non-traditional, to say the least? So, I've been playing games for a long time, and I play a lot of puzzle games. What if I go and backwards? I also do a lot of... I also play around with a lot of physical puzzles, and there's a disconnect <laughs> between the kinds of puzzles that you're going to get in a video game versus just picking up a random piece of metal with string on it on a shelf and trying to work it out there. Um, and I wanted to try and communicate more of the physical puzzle style of thing, where solving it is the puzzle. Once you've solved it, it's five seconds. You sure. know? Whereas a lot of traditional game puzzles are, you'll run into a room, you will mentally work out what you need to do, but then you have to go through the motions, You know, which is why... You, when you watch some of your videos, you can end up failing at puzzles because even if you do understand them, you then have to go through the motions and there's another failure case there. Sure. All right, well, I pressed escape, which then got me back to this menu right mm -hmm. here. Assuming there was kind of nowhere to go. Hmm. Do I go... I, what happens if I go back to this? Nah. Uh, and if you look down there, you can see what happened as you ran across. Ah! That <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you some kind of crazy psychotic madman looking to destroy the world of gaming with this logic? I'm, I'm looking to... I went to Japan, and Japan, you know, follows its own logic. It's very different to Western logic. And what people are experiencing here is very similar to how I felt walking around in Japan trying to understand 
you know, how to do simple things. There was a reason that they were set up as they were in Japan, cultural reasons, but I didn't understand them, so therefore I had to go through and learn the language. Interesting. Now, that appears to be slightly bouncy. I have to wonder why. Can we head back up the stairs? Yes, we can. You know, I think it's weird because I'm no I'm known as being incredibly bad at puzzle games. I think I'm probably better at this one than I am at most. Again, it's a very different style of puzzle game. Universally, whether you play games or not, everyone will play this game the same. People who do play a lot of first-person shooters end up playing it worse than people who don't play games at all ah. because they have more preconceived notions as to how an FPS works yeah. and they have more that they have to unlearn. Certainly. All right, well, that is apparently stairs, even though they're upside down. All right, fair enough. Well, that was on the roof. It was another constructing staircase underneath your feet. Oh, okay. Of course. Why, why would I not expect something <laughs> like that? Well, this is a game where observation is important. So even if you didn't pick it up there, you're going to encounter other situations where if you're not paying attention to that, then you're going to deal with the puzzle then. Fair enough. Well, I know that there was a staircase there. My preconceived notion says that this is trying to kill me. <laughs> but I'm going to walk through it anyway and take the risk. There we go. Which leads me to see what appears to be glass, which I cannot break. But I could just go around it. Fair enough. That's, that's really interesting, actually, because if I looked at that, it's, from that angle, it's, it's, almost, it's, it's pretty hard to actually see that. And that is, needless to say, also deliberately designed to fool you, one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. What kind, of, what kind of length do you anticipate this game actually having by the time that it's finished? So this is a game that's about 10 hours long. 10 hours? That's... It depends on how good you are at puzzle solving. Okay. People who are amazing at just jumping in and understanding the logic and shifting their mindset back and forth between lateral thinking and logical thinking have been able to blitz through it in three hours. Okay. The average person is more like eight. Fair enough. So if you, again, if you looked around there, you would have worked out what you were stuck on. Yep. But I have not, so... Once again, back to the whole failure state thing that is apparently impossible in this game. So we just need to figure out where we're going again. We've got the same thing as last time. Alternatively, I could just press escape and go back yes, to the Yes, and that's what this here. is teaching you again. Yeah, that you don't have to do all that nonsense. I could just go right back to yep. here. Yep. Yep, all right. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, fair enough. So failure states are irrelevant, so says anti-chamber. So, so you've tried jumping. We've tried jumping. That doesn't work. And walking didn't work. Why didn't walking work? Well, walking worked for a little while. Okay, so look at what happens under the ground as you move. Okay. So I get a platform and then a staircase. And then I muck it up. Okay, never mind. So that's okay. We can go back to where we were, which was here. Yes. Yep. So we do get something. And then we get stairs to the side. And which, we know that jumping doesn't work. Yeah, I assume that jumping is going to make the platform disappear. Yes. Okay, so let's continue to move this way. Which also discovers us a path to the right. Because there's only a half wall and it doesn't extend the full way. Of course. And this is a duck. Is it? <laughs> Don't ask me that! <laughs> That's a highly philosophical question. No, no, no. That I'm not Look at it again. Doing. It's... I I still see a duck. Is it a duck? Is it... When is a duck not a duck? It's a duck rabbit. It's a duck... Uh, oh! If I turn uh, my oh, head this way... I, yes. I just saw... Uh, this, is, this is crazy. All right. Okay. So, if this game doesn't do well, are you looking to actually start a career as an evil genius by any chance? I think this game has a good chance of doing well. I've entered every competition that exists, and I've been nominated or I've won every one of them, so... That's not a bad little record, is it? <laughs> is it just you working on this game? Uh, it's me doing all of the design and programming and the art style that you see around the place. I also have an illustrator for the signs, uh -huh. a sound designer, a composer, and a modeler. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, first we need to identify what the problem is. Well, the problem is that the bridge seems to be appearing and disappearing at a regular in instance. All is right. it regular? It, it's not regular, is it? No, it doesn't look regular. Is it a timing puzzle? It doesn't appear to be. Then get across. What makes it disappear? That makes it disappear. It disappears if I move too quickly. 
Yes. So, we have a walk button on shift. Yes. There we go. We can do that. You see, I like this game. This works with my broken mind. No other puzzle game does. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's half puzzle, half exploration. Yeah. So people, people who get a little bit flustered by some of the puzzle things will continue exploring and finding interesting you know, scenery Solutions, around the place. Yeah. Okay. Moving through a problem slow may help find the solution. All right, well, the first thing to do would be to move through a problem quicker to find out why it stops you. Yes, that's certainly one way to do it. Yep. That says up, so we need to go up through here. The question is, how does one get there? Let's explore the environment and find out. So we have keys. So that does not activate if I move perhaps too quick. We can try moving slowly. It activates if I move actually slow or quickly, actually. Just to move this section along a little bit, yep. this game is actually a Metroidvania. Okay. So what you're seeing now, these three puzzles, are things that you can't solve yet. You've sort of found ah, an area okay. that uh, you, you did solve some things, so you did find some new areas. Yep. But you do encounter things that you don't understand. Okay. And so at times you may need to turn around and you know see what else is around. Okay, sure. So this is, well, we're going to go back this way. Oh, yes, of course, we could just drop down here. There yes. is no failure state. Yes. All right. Let's just... And, all right. Well, interesting. Okay. I can't imagine that these were just put here for the sake of it. No, they weren't. Didn't think so. Well, am I in the same place or in a different place? I appear to be in a different place, so let's go in this direction and then head over here. And what do we see? What don't we see, more to the point? All right, so that's that's a pendant pendulum that says life. That it, is indeed life ticking by. It, oh, I see. You're far too clever for game design. You need to get into another industry. And this is indeed a four-dimensional art gallery. Right, obviously. What, what else could it possibly be? It now, the question is, why is this here? I take it personal whimsy is not something that comes into it. <laughs> Well, it is a nice break from some of the puzzle solving, but everything in this game exists for a very good reason. That appears to be some kind of angry techno badger. <laughs> everything exists for good reason. Four dimensional. What does it train you to do? Look at problems from different angles, see what Bam. we can find, and move in here. Uh huh. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So with that puzzle, for example, traditional uh -huh. FPS players, they're not used to looking around at things. And so they're going to get stuck at that until they, you know, run back and be like, what did I miss? Yeah. That's fair enough. Well, okay. Well, I don't think I missed anything there, but we have two possibilities. Let us go directly ahead. Takes us left or right. We'll take left. Which takes us right back to the way we were in the first place. Where did the other one take you? That's a good question. Well, that's... We have to go right back in here. Oh, we just, we just got around a circle, haven't we? That okay. did just take you in a circle, yes. Okay, well, let's... Go right. And then right again. That's going to take us in a circle. Left. Now I'm horribly confused. And that's the start. That's the start, yes. It's, it, I remember that combination of those three colors that indicate that that is the start. Yeah, let's go left then. Which is also the start. <laughs> uh, That's where you just ran. Yeah, I suppose it is, yeah. You okay. just did it again. I just... The <laughs> okay, so another thing I suppose I have to throw out of the window is my preconception of common sense navigation. Well, you've already had that thrown out of your way when you had the staircases at the start. That's very true. So what this one is teaching is it's teaching people not just to try and brute force, you know, forwards is always forwards. Yeah. And so this is where FPS players would get really stuck until they stop, slow down, think about things. They've just done a puzzle that told them about observation. Okay. Well, so let's, let's try and work our way through this. Okay. Well, let us observe then. So we know that this is not the same area because it has a different color on the wall. Yes. Okay. If we go in this direction... We do end up back at the start. We though. end up back at the start. 
But if we were to turn around, that's a different color. That's the green section. Yep. Okay, so okay. That, that takes us to the green section. This yep. is also the green section. That's which true. Which is not the white section. That's true. Which means we're going in the right direction. This is the white section, yes. so that's clearly the wrong section. Yes. So if we were to head through to this green section, that is also still the green section. That is the white section. Yes. So keep following the green section, one would assume. That's going to take us back to the start. That'll be back to the start. Is it following the green section, or is it not following the white section? I believe it's not following the white section, there because you go. the white section is the start. Yes. We know the white section is the start, ergo we must follow something else. Yes. Otherwise we won't find anything. So we are currently on the green section. We may have to backtrack a little bit. There's okay. more, like the green section branched. Yes. But just okay. so long as we know not to go back to the white, we will get through. Okay. So we can take this direction here. Yep. We'll continue on the green section, still on the green section. That's going to take us back to the white section. But this will take us to somewhere new. That's motivational. I like that very much. <laughs> okay, so what is this? That's just arrows. That's just arrows. All right. Okay, fair enough. Okay, well, let's continue going in this direction then. This is going to be around a circle, isn't it? Forever and ever and ever until we find ourselves a dog. Leave us running around in circles. Okay, so let us choose not to run around in circles. Let's choose to do something else entirely. The question is what? We could walk. Well, that's just going to take you through the same section slower. Slower, yes. Of course. Yes. This, this, I guess, is the problem for a lot of puzzle players. Like, they try to be too smart. Yes. And then they suddenly realize, no, this just makes me an idiot. This is exactly a game where overthinking a problem will harm you more Indeed. than stopping, stepping back, seeing what the puzzle gives you, and then approaching it okay. from there. Well, there are a couple of possibilities, one of which is to go the other way. We could go backwards. Which will result in... This is where you came from. Yes, exactly. We could go the other way. You could try that. Which is resulting in the same problem. We could Does that loop back to the start if you continue going? Did you only get halfway? It, one would think that you would, but it would appear not. There could just be more of these. There's something happening here. The question is what? Are we looping inward? We are. Space was shrinking. That's just too... <laughs> Fair enough. Let's head in this direction. We're going to have a couple of minutes left on this, unfortunately. Excellent. But that's all right. Okay, so that's closed off. That will not let us through. And it has teleported me to an entirely new area. Okay. That's a button. Or is it? What is it? Okay, if we look at that... What about if we just don't look at the door? We don't look at the door. You can't miss the bear. There we go. Okay, I think we'll try to take on one last puzzle and then we'll wrap this all up. So if I were to stare through that, I could see where it is. If I don't, then I can't. Can I walk through it anyway? Apparently, yes. There we go. There's a few places if you're willing to take a closer look. All right. I see. Well, before this br this game actually melts my brain and has it leaking out through my ears through the rest of this convention, I think it's probably time to wrap this up. Just with a, a few more conventional questions. Excellent. Uh, when are you looking to release this? I've been saying a couple of months for quite a long time. Oh, okay. I, I genuinely believe that I'm a couple of months away. You know, we are definitely in the finishing stages. Now I'm just polishing and tweaking. I don't uh -huh. have an official date yet. Okay. But this is definitely my last public showing of this. All right. Well, that's good news for everyone that is looking for a mind-bending puzzler. Uh, do you have a, a price range in mind for this at the moment? Uh, this is probably going to be a, a standard price, you know, $15 on Steam kind okay. of deal. And we're looking at kind of about 10 hours of content. Uh, yes, but it's, it's not a game that's about the amount of hours of content, you know. It's just giving you a genuinely different experience to what you'd find anywhere else. And one point I will make, this is an okay point to stop the game. Sure. 
We've been doing a lot of lateral thinking and untraining how other games work because we're about to get some different interactions. Right now we've got no interactions other than yep. moving and looking, etc. We're sure. about to get some different interactions that may then start throwing traditional logic at us that people would understand in any other game All right. and they're now going to suffer severe difficulty from them just because of the mental state that we've shifted them into. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Antichamber, something truly different coming out hopefully in the next few months. Do keep an eye out for it. Hopefully you shall see it pop up on Steam and Gamers Gate. Of course, if it pops up on Steam Green Light, I would strongly suggest that you give it a little bit of a thumbs up because that's how things seem to be working these days. But Antichamber brought to you live here from PAX. Thank you very much for showing us this game today. Thank you. I, I think I'm going to need to go and lie down. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.